Hello and welcome to a presentation and a walkthrough of the new Swift Mobile for Salesforce 3.x application. The new Swift Mobile for Salesforce 3.x application migrates away from the legacy Salesforce 1.app experience and moves to a native, seamless mobile experience for the user. Once in the application, they'll notice a number of different UX improvements. Namely, the application settings menu has been moved to their top left-hand corner of their screen from their BlackBerry launcher. From the application settings menu, users can easily change their BlackBerry Dynamics passcode, they can send logs to BlackBerry, and they can view information about their particular build on the About screen. The BlackBerry launcher stays within the application, of course, and from it, everything is secured by that BlackBerry Dynamics container, allowing a user to easily jump from Swift Mobile for Salesforce into BlackBerry Work or the BlackBerry Access Browser or any other number of BlackBerry Dynamics applications. The addition of the bottom nav on the new Swift Mobile for Salesforce app allows users to easily jump across the app whenever they want to. If a user selects favorites, they can see any favorited records or objects within their Salesforce CRM. They can use search to search across their entire CRM database. And then in menu, they can access individual objects and navigation items across all their Salesforce apps that they have access to. Using the app launcher, they can switch between these individual apps, uh, be they uh, standard Salesforce apps or be them custom apps created by their Salesforce administrator. And then of course, within each app, users are able to access a number of navigation items, including activities, standard objects, and custom objects. Users can use activities to see what they have over the course of their individual day. Opening up tasks, you can see what you have to do on that particular day, and you can easily flag tasks as completed when you're done with them. Using events, a user can see their schedule over the course of a day, a week, or a month view. Within standard objects, or any record for that matter, users are able to see on their object homepage all of their related lists at the top, as well as their recently viewed uh, records um, by default on that object homepage. If I select uh, this particular uh, contact record, for instance, I can see the new improved Swift Mobile for Salesforce record homepages. I can see here, I have the compact layout, uh, wherein I can see all the most relevant fields that my Salesforce admin wants me to see um, just at a glance. So if I was a sales rep uh, doing a sales call on this particular contact, I could easily select the phone number to call them, select their email address to send them a secure email on their BlackBerry Work email client. If I wanted to say, see some more information on the account record associated with this particular contact, I can select that uh, record to record link here. And then from within the uh, account, uh, I can see the details by selecting the full details. Here I can see all the additional fields that are featured on that particular record. You can also see the website field here. If I select this website, you're gonna see that it's gonna open up in the BlackBerry Access Secure Browser rather than my Safari or my Google Chrome application on my device. Swift Mobile Salesforce 3.x also features related list views. I can see any contacts associated with a parent record um, or any opportunities or cases or whatever other related objects are tethered to a parent record. Returning to my navigation menu, I can see some other types of uh, things that I can access with the new Swift Mobile Salesforce 3.x application. This includes notes, where a user can create notes uh, within their Salesforce record and then tether those to objects if necessary. Users can see the files that they have stored within Salesforce. If I wanted to select one of those files and interact with it as a user, I can securely do so with the Swift Mobile for Salesforce 3.x application and BlackBerry Dynamics. Uh, here I'm looking at a preview of a PDF file. Let's say I wanted to mark up that file before a meeting. 
uh, I can select that share button. And as you see here, I'm only seeing my qualified secured BlackBerry Dynamics applications or uh, using the BlackBerry Bridge application, I'd be able to see my secure Microsoft Office 365 applications as well. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and select this partner application and you'll see that it opens up that PDF document therein. Returning to Swift Mobile or Salesforce. I also have access to, for instance, reports. With reports in Swift Mobile or Salesforce, I can see all the information across my CRM at a glance. So let's say I want to see a sample report of the tasks and activities that have been taking place in this particular Salesforce org. Maybe I'm a manager. If I open up that report, I can see all of that information in a, tab in a tabular interface. I can even select the columns to change how the columns are sorted across the table. Cool thing about reports, they also support landscape view. And if you select any of these particular blue links, that'll take me to the associated record that's referenced within the report. So with mobile Salesforce 3.x also supports dashboard functionality. So if I open up dashboards, I can see a particular company dashboard that I have set up for me as a user within my Salesforce CRM. This has been a presentation, a brief little presentation, of course, of the Swift Mobile for Salesforce 3.x application and the Swift Mobile for Salesforce 3.x beta. For further questions, please refer to your functional overview document or your release notes. Thank you.